Bamboo, that reminds me. Minecraft Live, the announcement of uh, Minecraft uh, 1.20, 1.20, uh, which is, uh, so far, the only name it has is the Minecraft 1.20 update. Uh, they haven't named it yet. They're being fairly non-committal uh, at this point, other than uh, for a few things that are fairly well uh, along in the development cycle, uh, they're saying. And, uh, because basically they, you know, uh, the last three updates at least, um, they've had problems with, um, basically uh, kind of overcommitting. Um, with, you know, saying, oh, we're going to have this and that and, and what other thing. And, um, and it basically just not coming to be. Um, because they're, you know, run into one problem or another. Uh, actually getting it done. Um, and, and you know what? That happens. You know, it's like, oh, this is a great idea. We can have this. Um, but then it doesn't happen because, you know, of, of whatever reasons. And and there can be good reasons. Yeah, they're not uh, really over-promising a lot. Um, and they just showed off a few things that uh, that are far enough along. And uh, got some thoughts on a few of them. So let's see, they got the camels, which look pretty cool. Uh, it'll be nice to have, you know, a potential mount over by the, uh, over by the, uh, you know, the, the desert villages and stuff. Although I do think they do have uh, some horses there. Um, maybe the horses that they have in those villages might be replaced with the camels. Not sure. Maybe uh, just sometimes. Um, but yeah, it'll be good to have uh, some variety there. And uh, you can have two riders on them, which is cool. And uh, apparently they're tall enough so that uh, stuff like zombies and husks and things like that uh, can't reach you when you're up uh, riding on a uh, riding on those things. Um, the Enderman probably can. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. The um, skeletons, yeah, they're still going to be able to shoot at you with uncanny accuracy, as always. And, uh, yeah, witches will still be able to lob potions at you. All that kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, the short stuff, there's not going to be able to just reach and reach up and uh, grab you. Um, so that gives you some degree of protection. And uh, the person riding in back will be able to fight. Uh, from the footage they showed, it looked like they'd be able to turn, you know, completely around, or close to it anyway. Uh, maybe more so than uh, they could, say, in the back of a boat. So, yeah, in addition to the camels, we also have uh, bamboo blocks with uh, stairs and, uh, I guess, bamboo planks, I guess, or whatever. We got the, the bamboo mosaics as well. There's a little extra block. Um, I'm guessing we're going to have, uh, looks like we're going to have walls as well. Um... I was kind of re-watching the, uh, the thing, and, oh, bricks, and uh, I was a little bit disappointed, because um, for one thing, uh, well, basically I was kind of hoping that the, uh, that the, the bamboo uh, blocks and the stairs and stuff like that um, would be directional. You know, kind of like uh, a log is. Um, but it looks like they're not. It, um, it looks like they're just not going to be. I was hoping, because when you, when you look at the footage, if you look at, at the, at the, uh, the gameplay footage that they have, um, they have, uh, they, they show the boat, the bamboo boat, which is another thing they have. And it definitely has, like, the round ends of the, uh, of, of the, uh, the bamboo, um, showing on the, uh, you know, on the ends of the raft. And I think that's a great thing. So, yeah, I, and, and, but the thing is, they don't have the, uh, 
the ends of the bamboo uh, pieces uh, on the blocks. It's just like, you know, you're seeing the bamboo from the side, from every side. It's like, where's the ends? Where are the ends of the bamboo? That's uh, something I did not see. And I'm kind of disappointed of that in that. Because um, I really wanted it to be... Uh, I really think it ought to be directional. You know, I think uh, that would give you a bit more control over the look of it. Uh, and, and make the, the look of it a bit uh, more varied, I think. And... Uh, a lot better, really. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of disappointing. Um, but uh, yeah, the bamboo raft, it does have the end texture. Uh, and it looks good, I think. And uh, I mean, yeah, and, it, and it works just like a boat, except it doesn't have the, uh, the sides on it. Uh, what do you call it? The gunnels uh, on a boat? Um, I think that's what you call it. If it's not, let me know. Um, but if I remember right, that is what they're called. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, raft, great. Bamboo blocks, eh, leave a bit to be desired in my uh, opinion. I think that's something they should uh, rework. Um, if you agree, yeah, give them a shout. Let them know, uh, that, uh, yeah, this is what we think. They say they're going to be uh, taking in more uh, input from the uh, community, and that uh, you know, it's all a work in progress. Things can, you know, new things can come, things can change. Uh, they say that they're pretty far along in in what they've uh, got so far, but uh, it doesn't seem like reworking the uh, the bamboo blocks to be directional would be that huge a change. Um, it would take a little bit uh, of design work. Uh, but basically, they've got the, those bamboo ends on the raft. Uh, they can probably repurpose that uh, bit of graphic, uh, you know, on a couple ends of the, uh, the blocks uh, without much problem, I, I would think. This reminds me, one of the other things that they, that they uh, uh, showed was the carved bookshelf. Uh, it's not like these. It doesn't have the books on uh, every side. And uh, I'll be curious also to see how the uh, continuous uh, textures uh, mods are going to handle it. Um, should do fairly well enough. Um, and basically within it, it just has it, the, uh, the books exposed on one side. And it looks like you right click uh, on a spot. It's got like six spots. And uh, if you have a book in hand, uh, your book and quill, just a regular book or an enchantment book or whatever... Uh, you right click on an empty spot and it'll put it there. You right click on uh, a spot where there is a book, it takes it out, puts it in your inventory. Um, I think that's assuming you have space in your inventory. Uh, I don't know if it's just uh, the hot bar or maybe you just have, maybe you have to do it empty handed. I'm not certain. Um, I'll have to rewatch and, and see if that, there's any clues as to that. Um, but it is a redstone component. Uh, Apparently, I think which book you interacted with last, uh, well, I think maybe determines the uh, the signal strength going through. If I understood correctly, uh, what they were saying. Why are you in there, cat? My goodness. Anyway, um, the question I have. Uh, well, first off, yeah, it's a right click thing. So if it's if it's not something that requires an empty hand, and you're trying to eat. Um, are you going to be like accidentally, you know, grabbing books or putting them back in while you're trying to quickly eat something as you're running through your library, uh, being chased by whatever, um, or on your way to something that could be problematic, something to keep in mind, but you know, Hey, it's a gameplay thing. Uh, you deal with it. Uh, we deal with stuff like that all the time. You know, you try to eat and you're accidentally, you know, clicking on the thing there. Um, you gotta, you gotta, you know, mind what's, uh, what you're aiming at when you eat. That's uh, really nothing new. Uh, this will just be one more thing that you got to be careful of. Uh, that's, is, that's, you know, if it doesn't require an empty hand to, uh, to interact. Uh, the other thing is, enchanting areas like this uh, are the carved bookshelves, they, I believe they call them, 
uh, are those going to count towards the uh, the bookshelves that are contributing to the enchantment area? Uh, and if so, uh, would they have to be filled with books? Because that seems to me like it's going to be, it would be a bit more of an expensive thing um, to have those filled, unless they only need to be filled with three books or more uh, in order to contribute. Um, or if they contribute according to how many books they have. Say like if you put six books in, uh, since you construct these with three books, would that be twice as strong? Um, so, yeah, or maybe they won't count at all. Maybe you have to build this type of bookshelf in order to uh, power the enchantment table. That's going to be an interesting question. Uh, I think no matter which way they go with it, uh, there's going to be some controversy in that. Because, uh, yeah, I, I can see people complaining either way. Um, easily. Um, yes, which, which kind of raises the question why they didn't just make these, uh, the regular bookshelves interactive, you know, making, make them uh, a container, you know, like, uh, like the chests. I think I've, uh, put forth the idea of having, uh, the bookshelves, um, basically hold, oh, excuse me, like four rows. Um, you know, compared, you know, to like, say, like if you have a single chest, you could hold like three rows of, of nine each. That's what, 27 books you can put in a chest. Um, this would be of similar size. If you could do like four rows of that, then a bookshelf would be, but only be able to put books in it. Uh, a bookshelf would then become, you know, more, you more useful storage for books. Um, and it would, you know, basically be the same block. It would just become interactive. Uh, that was my idea. Uh, they went with a totally different thing. And I think it looks nice, you know, having the books on the shelf, you know, come and go, depending on how uh, you do it. And uh, it's six uh, spaces, so I guess they, I, I, you know what, I need to take a closer look at the footage to see uh, how all that interaction worked um, as far as, you know, whether... I mean, it seemed like the, the particular spot, the particular book you were pointing at is what would come in and out. Uh, the other question is whether, say, when you're pointing at it, is it going to tell you what book it is? Or do you have to pull it off, you know, pull it out uh, in order to find out? A lot of interesting questions about, the, about those uh, new bookshelves. Because there are, you know... There are those established uh, behaviors and roles for the uh, the existing bookshelves, and you know whether these are going to be contributing to that or not, or be just a totally separate thing. And what is it that makes them different? I mean, the books that you're using to uh, you know to make the uh, the conventional bookshelves, they're just blank books. You know, no enchantments on them, anything like that. Um, what is it that's uh, providing that power? What is it that's doing that? You think maybe having some, some magical books on the shelves would uh, would contribute more. So maybe they're going to be reworking enchantment? Maybe not. Maybe it's going to be something that people are just, you know, scratching their heads over. Like, you know, okay, uh, Mojang, why didn't you do this? So, yeah, lots of questions about the, the bookshelves. Uh, the more I think of it, the more it's like, hmm, that's going to get interesting. I think there's definitely going to be some controversy surrounding that. Now, another thing they do have that I'm kind of looking forward to is uh, hanging signs. And they say those are going to be made up of uh, stripped wood uh, and chains. Um, they show them hanging from two chains, uh, either from the bottom of a block, if you place it on the bottom of the block, it'll just have like the two chains on, you know, hanging, you know, that the sign is, uh, is hanging from. Uh, or if you put it on the side of a block, it'll have like a little 
stick poking out basically, and then the sign hangs from that uh, perpendicular to the uh, the block you're placing it on. And then it has it. You can also hang it from the bottom of like a uh, you know fence post or whatever. And uh, the two chains will kind of uh, go in at an angle uh, to meet in the center. Uh, where it will be attached to the, you know, whatever narrow item uh, it is that you're uh, that you're getting it from. But yeah, the hanging sign, um, kind of interesting. I was thinking about it in terms of, say, the signs that we have here. Um, that would open things up that I could, say, hang a sign from uh, up top here instead. Um... Uh, it's a little bit problematic, though, and that, uh, well, if I did that, uh, I think it might get in the way of uh, interacting with the villagers here, at least in this design for things. It would be nice if, uh, you know, if these, actually, because the thing is, the sign is within this block here, you know, the one or the block above that, you know, the block on the floor there. You see it's within that bounds there, um, rather than being up against the wall here. It would be nice if it if it uh, popped over against the wall. Um, it would look a lot better, I think, but uh, that's just not really going to happen. Um, so yeah, the signs can hang, and actually signs can actually, the, the hanging signs, they can hang from other, hang, other hanging signs. Uh, and they showed some of them doing that and, and set up there at different angles. Just like uh, when, this, when you place a sign uh, on on the floor, uh, it can be set at whatever angle you're facing. So, uh, yeah, that raises a question. If I hang it on the bottom of a solid block like that, is it going to be, you know, just pop to whatever 90 degree, uh, you know, cardinal direction? Uh, or is it going to be at more of an angle with the two chains hanging? Um, you know, so that uh, I would, you know, maybe put it here and then have it angled this way towards me over here. Um, and, with, you know, with this one over here. Uh, I don't know. Also, with the hanging signs, are they going to be, are the words you put on them going to be visible from both sides? That's another question. I'd love for them to be. Um, or to uh, let you put a... Uh, a different thing on each side. That would be uh, even more flexible. I think that would be excellent. Flexilent, if you will. And of course, the uh, winner of the uh, the mob vote was the sniffer. Uh, pretty much as everyone was predicting. Um, so yeah, really no surprises there. But I'm glad the sniffer won. Uh, because I think it uh, it's potentially the most interesting. Uh, I went over this uh, last week, I believe, um, my reasons for that, and it's basically it it's they they really implied uh, a lot more uh, lore. Um, I mean, some people were speculating on the possible lore from the other ones, but. Uh, the sniffer was really the only one that uh, Mojang kind of came right out and said, oh, it's got uh, some information on ancient stuff, you know. Uh, at the very least, it's got the, uh, it's got the, what you call it, the uh, whatever ancient plant that it, uh, it digs up. Uh, but yeah, the sniffer, it, uh, it, it'll bring that new plant along, uh, they say, so there's that. No idea if it's going to be a useful plant or just decorative uh, or what. Or maybe if it's uh, a plant that grows uh, the food for, uh, for you know, the sniffers. Uh, the food that they eat um, to grow up big and strong or to breed or, or, or whatnot. Um, that might be something that you uh, need in order to breed them. But yeah, I think overall the sniffer is the better choice um and uh i look forward to hearing about what ancient lore or information 
uh, it uh, it will uncover. Anyway, that's kind of my opinion on uh, what we've seen so far. Uh, oh, and also we've got uh, more uh, default skins. Um, not really something that uh, I'll be using. I've got my own skin. Um, but for people who are like just starting in the game, uh, it does give them a bit more of a variety that they can pick from and, and get a, a better approximation of, of what they uh, want to look like in the game uh, until they can go out and, you know, download a Shrek skin or what have you and, uh, and pop that in. Um, so, yeah, I think it'll make it uh, a little bit... Uh, a little bit more fun for uh, people just starting out. Uh, but as far as other things coming in the uh, 1.20, uh, the bamboo, um, yeah, they they kind of uh, they're kind of building this as sort of uh, an, in an inclusiveness uh, uh, update, and that's kind of reflected in, in a lot of the the new default skins. Excuse <coughs> me. Uh, I think one even looked like it had a prosthetic arm, you know, uh, kind of like uh, Bucky in the Marvel uh, universe. It's got its uh, metal arm. That is so cool. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, not certain. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these because all of this is gonna be over here. Okay, but uh, yeah, with the, with the bamboo kind of makes you think. Well, are they going to be? Excuse me, maybe doing a uh, jungle village finally. And what shape is that going to take? You know, uh, I think it would be pretty cool if uh, if it took the the shape of like tree houses. You know, the bamboo tree houses up in the. Up in the uh, the canopy there, um, you know, up on the up on the big uh, jungle trees uh, surrounding them, you know, maybe have the structures uh, be you know a tree with a uh, platform uh, wrapped around it. That that could be pretty cool. That could be uh, pretty cool indeed. But then somebody might complain, and not without uh, you know, not without justification. That that kind of, uh, maybe kind of a, you know, colonialist kind of, you know, view of, uh, jungle inhabitants. 